All you will need today is your power drill and safety glass. Remember to always smash that like button, definitely subscribe, and always share this with your buddies so we can bring you these great boat builds. Thanks guys, now let's get into the project. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Brent Bridgman, and you are watching JFL Boat Build Series. So, uh, we took a Friday off because we had Christmas and we also had uh, New Year's last night. So, uh, it happens to be a really nice day. We're out here with the Viper Bass Boat. And what we're going to do today is we're going to rip up the bottom carpet down here in the bottom. And then we'll probably try to remove these seats today. And then we'll try to get these uh, locker lids off. We also need to address some water that's standing um, right up in here, as you can see. Water in, water in that locker. We're gonna try and get a small little weep hole. And then um, those of you that didn't follow the last episode, uh, we actually cut this out. We cleared underneath of it. And next we are going to uh, cut the floor out and then we're gonna cut the transom out. Then at that point, this boat will be flipped upside down. And we're gonna let this dry until uh, probably the end of, probably middle to end of March. It'll be upside down, but when it's upside down, we're going to address the hull. We're going to fix any chips or cracks that might be under there, which we have not found yet. And then we're also going to gel coat the bottom of the boat black. We're going to polish it really well. And at that time, we'll get any blemishes. We'll also polish the sides. So when we flip the boat back over, we will have a perfect sides and perfect bottom on the boat. Then when we come back in, all these compartments will be dry. All the foam will be dry because the boat will have sat upside down for three months. And then we can start from scratch, lay in the new deck, lay in the new flooring. And we're also gonna do the CUSA board in the back for the transom. Um, while that's happening, we're also going to add a second axle to the trailer. And then, um, so we're gonna pull the boat up off the trailer. We'll pull the trailer out. We'll flip the boat over after the floorboard and the transom is removed. We're gonna do that um, on the next episode. So today we're just gonna pull the carpet, pull the locker doors. We're gonna get some weep holes in these lockers to get the water drained out so we can start the drying process. Anyway, stay tuned. Okay, so the first step before we turn this thing over is I just removed that old battery. And then I bought this pump right here off of Amazon and I got some cherry cans. What you want to do is get this old fuel out of here. I did have some stabilizer in there that I put in there just to stabilize it, just so I could get it out of the tank. Um, when this first started coming out, it was really brown, and uh, we don't want any fuel in the fuel tank when we roll this thing over upside down. So, as you can see on the uh, Viper boat, it has a nipple below the hole where all the controls come in, and so it has a little nipple there, so we put that hose on there, and then. Uh, I cut the oil one off because we're not going to have oil back here anymore. That's actually going to be space for another battery. And then I undid the piece of wood that covers this. That's a 500 uh, per hour bilge pump. And then the aerator pumps are behind this board here, which we'll remove a little bit. But we're going to take out these other batteries. We'll take these out. And then the other battery sat right in here. But we will have room for one, two, three, four, five batteries when we're done. And so that'll be good. Looks like we have an onboard charger. So the pole lights were back here, the long one for the back corner, and then the one for the front. All right, so we're gonna continue to drain the fuel until it's all empty, and then we'll jump on the floor. Boom, and just like that, the batteries are out. 
Now, I might try to put my battery repair machine on here and uh, see if it'll repair them and charge them up just in case we need these batteries for something else. But uh, we can pretty much count these out. We're getting down to the bottom of the fuel. We're starting to get some air bubbles in the line. So that means we're almost down. I've taken out nine and a half gallons so far. And then the back battery box is looking pretty vacant. So we'll have room for one, two, three, four batteries for sure. The middle, we're gonna replace the bilge pump. We're gonna replace those switch valves. Those go to the live well. And then we'll remove this board later at a later time, probably the next time. And then uh, we're gonna pull up the carpet today, try to remove the seats, and definitely remove these locker lids in the back, as well as the live well lids. And then we'll be ready to uh, start cutting out the floor and start cutting out this transom, which will happen in the next episode after this one. And then we'll work on flipping the boat upside down in the uh, episode after it'll be like episode 9 or 10 we'll flip the boat upside down and pull the trailer out and start working on the bottom of the boat so that's just a little update right now and with the motion and trickiness of editing the seats are all right everybody thanks for joining us today uh, it started to get dark really quickly. As you can see, we got all of the carpet and the seats removed thanks to Mary. Mary took out all the stainless screws. Some of them were bent, some of them were messed up, but we got that stuff out of here. The floor is really squishy. As you can see the crack, the seats are very weathered. Um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut new foam. We'll be gluing the foam to the framing, uh, the aluminum framing from the factory. We will be taking these as patterns and redoing the entire vinyl along with even the inserts and the piping but anyway this is how far we got today all the batteries are out of the back as you can see all the carpet's been pulled all the stainless hardware is off and bagged from here we will get all of this dried out and it will have lots of time to dry out as you can see there's a fuel sending unit all right well that's going to do it for today guys uh, we got some of the dirt and the nasty leaves and everything out of the floorboard and we got a lot more cleaning up to do but uh, we just got a brand new power washer and when I say brand new we got to add oil and gas and then uh, so in the next episode we'll be power washing this thing and then we're gonna be working on uh, getting this floorboard cut out so we'll get all the floorboard in here cut out so it's real squishy and cracked there all the way up to the other vent we got the water out of the rod lockers and lockers, storage lockers today. We got the seats out. Those are here on the ground. We got the seats out. And then we will uh, address those. We're going to put brand new foam. We're going to sew up brand new vinyl with piping and everything. Um, we'll change the colors a little bit, probably to a little bit lighter uh, gray. But that's that. And then, um, so in the next, Three to four episodes we should have the boat turned over after we get everything cut out that way everything could be drying and like i said two to three months we'll be putting all brand new stuff in so that's it for now Sponsored today by JustFishLures.com. Please subscribe, hit the like, and turn on that bell. As always, thank you for supporting the channel. We'll see you next Friday.